Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Handan syukran nila mabadu Horus pray and thanks unto our good Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who has been giving mercies and blessing So I can complete this task Secondly, my salawat and salam Always be given to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Who has guided us from the darkness to the brightness Namely Islam religion Good morning ladies and gentlemen My name is Alfeno Hidayat from class B ek, uh, Islamic Economist at Win Sunan Kalijaga with study number 2108010057 I will presentation as I the title the influence of Islamic banks on economic growth in Indonesia uh, we all know what is called a conventional bank but here is what is called uh, Islamic bank what is Islamic banking also has a positive impact on the economy in Indonesia but in its implementation there are many obstacles let's just discuss what Islamic banks uh, in here table of contents there are uh, four First, uh, introduction. Second, uh, body. Third, conclusion. And fourth, reference. Uh, and number one, uh, introduction. Uh, a definition of Sharia banking. In general, what is mean by Sharia bank is a financial institution whose main business is providing credit finance in service and service in payment traffic and money circulation that operate in accordance with Sharia principle definition of Sharia banking. B. Uh, difference between Islamic bank and conventional. The difference between Islamic banks and conventional banks is in the principles used. Islamic banks operate using the principle of profit sharing to avoid usury while conventional banks use interest in their operation and seek the maximum profit uh, to body a concept use islamic banking islamic banking applies five methods of discursing funds as follows one mudoroba to musyaroka tri salam four murabaha and five istihna B. The role of Islamic banking in economic growth. 1. Directing the economic activities of people who are Muslim in order to avoid the elements of usury and horror. 2. Creating justice in the economic sphere. 3. Improving the quality of life of the community by opening up business opportunities to improve the Indonesian economic sector. Five, uh, four, uh, overcoming the problem of property by empowering producer entrepreneurs development programs. Five, maintaining economics and monetary stability. And C, problems faced in Islamic banking. The following are some of the challenges and problems faced in the development of Islamic banks in Indonesia namely uh, one Sharia uh, sh one Sharia working capital financing capital is a critical problem that is always faced by starting a business any idea or plan to establish an Islamic bank can be realized due to the absence of significant capital for its establishment to world banking regulation as is now the general function of the law is to serve the community and meet the needs of the community as a principle of enactment in a material sense the law is the maximum possible means to achieve spiritual and material welfare for the community and individuals 3. Lack of human resource 
the rise of Islamic banks in Indonesia is not matched by adequate human resources. Especially the background of Islamic banking is simply so that I so that its development is slow for the level of understanding and concern of the Ummah. The understanding and concern of by of the majority of the people regarding the system and principle of Islamic bank is not right. Even among Muslims, scholars and scholars, there is still no agreement to support the existence of Islamic banks. Five human resource problem: the understanding of Islamic bank practitioners is still weak, but in terms of business development and sharia in other words the fulfillment of qualified human resource in the fight of islamic economies so that in practice islamic banking often defies from sharia principle and next three conclusion islamic bank is a bank that operates without trailing on interest in it Islamic bank are commonly referred to as interest-free banks. Our banking institution was operation and product are development without using a usury system. Islamic banking also applies concept in accordance with Islamic rules in its working methods. And Islamic banks have used Islamic concept in their implementation but in the development process there are still many problems faced by islamic banking that's uh that's all i can i can say i say thank you and please forgive me if you found many mistakes in my presentation the last i say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh